the Switzerland goalkeeper had other ideas in his mind. Brilliant start here from Mali, showing a lot of pace, a lot of aggression. And of course, there are no throw-ins in 5-on-5. Five five. You just kick the ball in. So the Swiss are immediately on the back foot, trying a through ball there. But it's got a deflection and it's going to be a goal kick. So already the Swiss are under pressure. Yeah, Mali tried to annoy my Switzerland. It was a really good play. Hey, and, um, and but unfortunately, Switzerland are trying their best as to keep their aggression to a low. Mali in complete control of the game, passing the ball around, trying a speculative shot there. But finally, those Swiss are on the ball, passing it around at the back. That's always dangerous. But nicely done there by the number 10, bringing it along the left flank. But the pressing from Mali is immediately evident here, Siraj. Yeah, the pressing, very aggressive, if indeed. He also, it was a moment of moment of Liverpool pull there. Nice, nice play, that's there. Well, yeah. the Switzerland are definitely never going to walk alone here. Sunny, balmy afternoon here in Dubai at the La Liga Academy. Yeah, we've, we've always had had good uh, compliments of this city at this football ground. Um, no reason in why we shouldn't, and um, why we should have this tournament. And Intercepted stage. in the middle, the Swiss are breaking here, counter in play, speculative shot, heads it on, but the Mali keeper just about hangs on, that could have been close. Yeah, Switzerland, Switzerland trying to take their, uh, Mali's aggression in, uh, to themselves, and now no, Switzerland have got a one close shot, but they squandered it. Mali get back the ball in the middle. A lot of hustle and bustle out there in the midfield. Bit of tech is there. But Mali have cleaned up. They're looking a very powerful, very aggressive unit. Swiss under severe pressure here, Siraj. Yeah, uh, the Swiss trying to, to get, the, get the through balls, to get the long passes. But Mali knows what they're going to do. And that's why uh, they are on the front foot and Switzerland and already under pressure. Right then, kick in here for the Swiss. Good shot on target. Trying to build on the right flank. Low cross. Spins and tries a shot, but brilliantly blocked there. Good stuff by the Malian defense. Yeah, we've all. Yeah, we already know no, why. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to build through the middle. Good physical body language there. Low cross. But the Swiss just about get in the middle of it. Very, very close. This the Swiss almost getting a casualty, but the goalkeeper was having was more than equal to it. Mali once again breaking a brilliant save. The Swiss keeper is on fire here. Yeah. It's about getting in the middle of it. Very, very close. The Swiss almost getting a casualty, but the goalkeeper was having was more than equal to it. Mali Short corner taken, working the ball around. Deflection and it's going to be another kick in. Mali all over the Swiss right now. And you can see the Swiss players are already catching their breath. The pace of this game has been fast and furious. I like that I like that Mali start of play. Uh, they're trying to uh, get that first through ball to try and split that, that defense into pieces. Is uh, but the but the Swiss are trying their best uh, to get that opening goal that they so richly deserve. Trying to build through the middle here, working the ball around. Down the left side. Low cross. Once again, cut away at just the right time. That could have been close. Yeah, we've, got, we've already had a lot of, lot of close uh, some shots on there, but uh, the Switzerland in defense remain consistent. They'll just be relieved to get the ball out of their own half right now. The red and white, Mali have played with a lot of aggression, a lot of pace, a lot of power. And a lot of passion as well. Uh, they show that they are, they belong in here, in this field. Immediately on the front foot, but the Swiss are holding strong. Of course, they're going to be about 20 minute halves each. So the action barely gets a respite. It's always on the move. This time, good pressing from the Swiss, trying to win the ball early. But Mali, yeah. once again, that pace. Excellent tackle there by the central defender. The play breaks down again. Once again, Mali built from the back. Their off-the-ball movement is absolutely brilliant. 
Yeah, that. Yeah, we've, yeah Marley trying to uh, tease East Switzerland and uh, make them cry. All right, for their beautiful play uh, of futsal. Uh, that's why uh, we are starting to like them. Of course, it is a festival atmosphere here for the WCC down the right flank once again. But the Swiss just get about just about get a foot down in time. There's gonna be another corner kick here. Yeah, Marley, oh my goodness. There's so much to say about them. It was a some battle there in the futsal pitch. How do you think of it? Absolutely. Very, very physically gifted here, the Marley side. The keeper has a shot on strike, can you believe it? From beyond the halfway circle. And this time the Swiss are breaking, but once again it deflects away for a corner. Yeah, the Swiss trying, to, trying his inner Manuel Neuer, yeah, but that, that the Mali in, in defense was more than equal to it. This time once again the Mali br forwards breaking down, they have such a lot of speed, a lot of aggression. But credit to the Swiss here, Siraj. They're hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. The Swiss is always remaining inconsistent incons of their of their Malian in opponents trying to get this, get a shot on target. Uh, but the but the Swiss defense is trying their inner Liverpool defense or better Van Dijk. Swiss keeper on the ball then, trying to get a. Outlet ball out, works it to number four down the right flank. Nice through ball oh, here. Yeah, here Deflection once again. Working ever so hard. The Malian team, whether it be it in defense or attack, they're giving their 100%. We've, yeah, Mali showing their versatility eh, and um, they're now becoming the surprise pack packages of this tournament. Absolutely, they're looking very, very good, very organized. A lot of speed, a lot of physical ability. Low cross, but the center back intercepts. Looking for a through ball, but no, it's cut out by the number four for Team Switzerland. And of course, it's only five on five, so you have to play in multiple roles. This time, the attack breaks down number seven. Trying to thread that ball through. He's got a chance here. Works it onto his right foot, but it's been cut out just in time. Absolutely spot on. The Swiss have been taken to task here by Mali. Working really hard. But the fitness level will be definitely tested. Bit of a shout for handball there, but the referee play waves play on. And Mali look to reset. The tempo of this game has been absolutely ridiculous. Cut and thrust from both sides. And now, once again, it's the keeper on the ball. I feel the keepers have a very, very key role here, Siraj. Yeah, the keeper again, trying to find his inner, inner Manuel Neuer. How do you think, how do you think of them over the performance so far? It's a war today. Um, a goal. Absolutely, the Swiss goalkeeper has been very busy indeed. A lot of shots going, fizzing past him, but thankfully, nothing on target just yet. Speculative strike once again, deflected off and straight into the Swiss keeper's hands. Yeah, the Swiss, the Swiss goalkeeper. Uh, now, uh, quite, uh, quite an easy save after all that difficult, difficult save. Once again, the Malian forwards moving along at will, powering along. But credit to the Swiss, they've looked organized, they've looked determined. And perhaps the Malian strike force is getting a bit frustrated here. Once again, it's going to be Mali on the ball. They've really dominated possession here, but not too much avail here, Siraj. Once again on the ball, I'd say it's about 65% possession towards the, the African nation. 
But they'll be frustrated not to have opened the scoring just yet. Once again, a bit of an opening there. Brilliant defending here by the number 10 for Switzerland. Outstanding man marking. This time on the ball, tries to slip it through. Oh, that could have been oh so close at the far post. Mali have the chance to counter down the left flank. Low cross once again blocked. Shot on target, just past the right post. Low cross once again blocked. Shot on target in one. Yeah, the Swiss keeper looks paralyzed, but only the ball. So unlucky for that. Malians finally getting some reward for some good pressing, good attacking prowess. For once the Swiss back line was exposed there. But thankfully, it just fizzed away past that left upright. Now they have the break on here. Big unit number nine for the Swiss coming in, number three in fact. But he's lost the ball here. Now there's a chance for a counter. Three on one. Mali! Brilliant save by the Swiss keeper. He came up big there, came up huge. It was literally three versus one, but he had the presence of mind and the technique to block that low shot. Brilliant stuff. Oh, can you believe it? Rounding the keeper, chance for a goal, and once again, the Swiss defense. Desperate. Oh, can you believe it? Rounding the keeper. Chance for a goal, and once again. This has happened in the first four calls. I think this is going to be the first time. That was your own man. Mali piling on the pressure once again. Flashed across the goal, but goes by fairly wide in the end. And in fact, it's a kick in, unbelievably. These are smaller goals here, of course. But that man on screen, the Swiss number one, he has been world class today. All right. All right. The, the, Swiss, yeah, the Swiss got lucky there. Uh, uh, that lousy start by that Malian striker. So he needs, needs to look for other options. Can he put it back for his teammates? Hey, did you say, did you say it's an art? Down the left flank, and there it is! The Swiss open the scoring. Brilliant cross in from the left hand flank, beats the keeper, and it's a tap in. 1 0 Switzerland. The pressure has been solved. Down the left flank, and there it is! The, the Malian defense finally being compromised. They had been countering them quite effectively, they had been getting openings. And in the end, a brilliant cross flashed across the keeper and tucked in for a goal. Brilliant stuff. Once again, the Swiss on the ball. Now, brilliant tricks there from the number 11. Oh, bit of a fumble there from the Malian keeper. But he's just about hung on there. They break once again to equalize. Once again, losing the ball in the middle. The Swiss are countering here. Down the right flank, worked back and given away. Poor interception, one on one, and he's missed it. Can you believe it? An open goal, dead to rights, and he's put it past the, uh, past the upright. Oh my God, that looks like one one there, but the keeper looks paralyzed, but, but not dead, the Malian striker. That was a joke. Living a charmed life here, the Swiss. They've got the early goal here, but been exposed countless times by the P 
pace and agility of the Malian strikers. Chipping the ball towards the midfield. Once again, early tackle, losing the ball. And they've gotten a lot of purchase here down the left flank. Mali once again on the ball, breaking down the left. In led ball. Good dribbling here. Shot! And flash past the keeper once again. Mali once again on the ball, breaking down the left. In led ball. Good dribbling. Shot! And these are, of course, the starting lineup for the Swiss team. Vitol, Silvio Robert, Alion Dieng, Mehdi Belhai, Essan Ariel Maz, Pierre Yves Bonte, Christophe Duhamel, Zarko Juric. Reda Bahri, Osama Bentarit, and of course, Andrew Benton, the goalkeeper. He's been a superstar so far. He has someone given the man of the match award already. He has been a war. Brilliant game we've had to open the tournament here at the FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup in Dubai 2021. We're live from the La Liga Academy here in Sports City. And so far, let's take a look at the Malian team as well, called PMU, Aruna Toure, Mamadou Dukore, Babuya Toure, Yehie Udba, Sanusi Keita, Gassana Kone, Khalidi Farota, Tumani Diara, Isiaka Dembele as well out there. And of course, it's been a breathless first half here, Siraj. End to end action. Indeed, they have looked very, very deadly on the counter-attack. There's been a lot of pressure for them by the Malian forwards, a lot of speed. They've had a lot of one-on-one -on -one occasions with the Swiss goalkeeper, but he's come up trumps, and the second half is kicking off here. PMU looking to equalize. Swiss VTOL in the lead, and on the ball, chipped towards the keeper, and he gobbles it up nicely. And immediately, they try to break on the left flank. Working himself onto the right foot. Trying to do a 1-2 there, but that Swiss defense has been resolute. End to an action here, Siraj. You don't get any minutes even just to breathe. Another strong shot, but flashed wide. There, oh, off the keeper's face there from the number 11 of Mali. Incredible save. Working the ball around once again, trying to find an opening. But the Swiss just about come away with it. Very aggressive. Here's a chance for a shot. Slips it in and saved again. Been truly number one this afternoon. Mali get the ball back in their own half then. Switzerland couldn't create an opportunity there. Swiss VTOL, to be precise. Chance for a goal once again. It's been blocked. The wall of Switzerland right there at the back, not giving any opportunities. And the Swiss just can't hang on to the ball right now. Not giving any opportunities. And the Swiss just can't hang on to the ball right now. Of course, there are 15 minute halves here, so the time really does tick away. A kick in here for the Switzerland, building down the left flank. Square to the middle. Shot at goal, and it's gone L2 0 Switzerland. What a strike! Here for the Switzerland, building down the left flank. Square to the middle. Shot at. Oh, 
has to be said the Malian keeper could have done better there. Just that low strike, it's always difficult. They can bubble up right in front of you and he hit that at pace. And incredibly, for all the pressure, for all the possession, they're two goals down. A strike at goal, flashed wide once again. So the frustration is telling here for Team PMU. Once again, the Swiss keeper, the wall. Back-to-back -back saves, incredible stuff. How have Mali not scored yet? And once again, the Swiss are on the counter. The frustration is telling he has stopped five to six certain goals here this afternoon. The Swiss number one, Benton. Incredible game. He's having the game of his life. Where's the striker once again? It opens up and they've got their goal. Mali number 11 has buried it this time for once. Towards the striker once again. It opens up and they've got their goal. Mali number Two one, then the score. Ten minutes remaining in the game. Oh, that's poor from the Swiss keeper there, losing the ball. Chance for a shot at goal, but he's just about hung on. And no, it slipped through his hands. Two two. Mali have equalized. Oh, that's poor from the Swiss keeper there, losing the ball. Chance for a shot at goal, but he's just about hung on. And no, it slipped through his hands. Two two. Mali. Unbelievable, the pressure finally paying off here for Mali. Squares the ball and he saved it unbelievably. One on one with the keeper and he's tucked it past the post. And, and that, just like that, the Swiss wall is back. Uh, it looks a certain goal, but uh, we, we, we can say the post is the goalkeeper's best friend. Trying to work this quick corner around here, but. Good defensive setup there by the Swiss. They're suffering a bit here. The energy levels are not being able to match with the Malians who are super fit, super fast. Trying to get a shot away this time. The ball could break, but the keeper is up to it. Down the left flank this time, number eight. Squares the ball, chance for a shot at goal, and there it is. Mali take the lead, three, two. The ball could break, but the keeper is up to it. On the left flank this time, number eight. Squares the ball, chance for a shot at goal, and there it is! Finally worked indeed this time, the Swiss losing the ball in the middle of the pitch once again. One on one, and the keeper gobbles it up. That would have been a certain goal. Brilliant keeping once again, but now the Swiss need to get back on level terms. Just under eight minutes to go then, finally. The pressure telling on the Swiss, bit of an injury. Just under eight minutes to go then, finally. Those hits really do make an impact and the keeper signaling to the Mali bench, we need a sub in here. It looks to be in a lot of pain here. 
The stretcher has been brought out. Brought out. It's always a concern when you see the medical staff out there. But he looks to be relatively okay. Perhaps just took a rough fall there. But we definitely need to get him in the hut for some medical treatment. The medical staff there taking a look then. Of course the clock the clock, pardon me, does get stopped in futsal. Seven minutes and twenty-seven seconds remaining in the game. Incredible comeback here by PMU. They were 2-0 down, but in the space of a few minutes, they rocked to the lead. The Swiss number one trying his level best. He'd already made seven to eight quality saves, but in the end, the pressure finally told. Substitution made then. The player has been taken off the field. Hopefully he'll make a speedy recovery and get back into the thick of it. It's relentless fast-paced action here. PMU on the ball. The keeper plays a long ball for once. Taking route one. <coughs> Good defending there by the Swiss there. Getting their foot stuck in. Conceding that corner. And there you can see the medical staff immediately on the ball. Corner taken here by PMU, trying to chip it, but the Swiss have recovered. But the pressing from Mali has been brilliant. Four two, then one on one with the keeper, and the number four tucks it away from Mali has been brilliant. levels have been the difference here for, in my opinion the Swiss have finally run out of gas this time the keeper taking some risks lose the ball Mali have possession the keeper is out of position strike but he's just about got his hand down in time very very close shave there Almost five minutes to go here. A two goal cushion here for PMU. Still in control of the game. They've bossed it to be very frank. Had a lot of the possession, a lot of the chances. Got hit on the counter a couple of times. But they've deserved their lead. Look at that power. Brilliant. Quick feet, chance for a shot at goal but he scuffed it and the keeper hangs on. Losing the ball once again, strike at goal. But this time it flies over the crafted and the keeper hangs on. Losing the ball once again, strike at goal. Once again on the ball here. But the Swiss defender does well, gets the ball, and in fact, it's a foul given there. Good call by the ref. So can the Swiss have a late flurry here? They need two goals to get back into this game. It's looking unlikely. The energy levels have dropped significantly. But funny things have happened. Funnier things have happened in this tournament so far. And we're only on game one, okay? We're only on game one. Remember that. This time the Swiss on the ball, short, but nicely blocked there by the Mali and back three. Bit of an opening here once again, trying to chip it into the box, but cleared in time. And now this is the danger on the counter. Number 11 on the ball. Big, powerful lad here, working down that left flank, but decides to reset and goes back to his central defender. They've been really good on the ball. Their passing and movement has been spectacular.
Another shot blocked there by the Swiss keeper. There are a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities now. The quick movement, the quick passing, interchangeability between the Mali and strikers has been a treat to watch. And the Swiss just ha haven't been able to match their stamina and their speed. That's been the clear difference. And that is the end of the game then. The referee has called time. It's a clinical victory here for PMU versus VTOL. They were 2 nil down, but that strong second half showing four unanswered goals, and it's Team Mali with the victory. Fist bumps all round. Final score of game one, then it's PMU Mali 4. Oh, I Swiss think it's a half, Vito right? Two. The half yeah, I think it's over. It's over? Who it's won? over. Who won? Mm, uh, they won. We lost. Uh, it's the first one. It's just the first one. <laughs> okay. Cool. They're just going to check because they're going to put your name in the screen, okay? It is stressful, but I'm having a good time, yeah. yes. Cool. And you? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Here will be the stressful part. I just feel like uh, <laughs> it, it, it's always like that. And all that stuff, but I feel like it's tomorrow is going to be easier, you know? And yeah. then the third day is going to be way easier. So. Yeah, third day is it's done. Yeah, I know. So once this done, are you guys staying for another team, for another game, or you guys are going to the hotel? Mm, I think we, we're going to stay because uh, at 7 there is a parade. So oh, okay. things will take a shower, we'll take some time, we we'll debrief, and then it will be the parade with it. Mm, okay, okay, that's nice. Hello, we are here today in the first day of the third edition and we are on the first, uh, we had already the first game and here we are. What's your name? My name is Antoine Coase. 
And what team are you representing? So I'm representing VTOL uh, with the Switzerland delegation. Perfect. Um, what are you expecting for this tournament? So we're expecting to have a good time, have friendship, share, share the values of the, of the football and uh, yeah, enjoy and hopefully we'll see how, we go, how far we go. <laughs> Now, what's your expectation of Dubai? What do you think of Dubai? Is this the first time that you're here? Yeah, it's my first time in Dubai and everything is huge and impressive. So I look forward to have more time and we'll see if we have some. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And we are back with another member from the delegation of the Switzerland. How are you? Yeah, pretty good, merci, thank you. Should I speak English or French? Whatever you prefer. We have spectators from everywhere. What's your name and what company are you representing? I'm Samuel Ferrigo uh, and we are representing VTOL and I'm working in Sport Corporate. How do you feel to be here in Dubai today with your team representing your country? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty proud to, uh, to make the challenge to have them here because it wasn't easy at the beginning, but uh, we managed to have them and uh, I'm very happy and proud of them. What are you expecting in, from this tournament? Um, I think winning and also making a network and talking to the people from FIFCO. Amazing, thank you very much. Thanks. Welcome, thank you. That fly was like <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if I was looking here. Yeah, okay. thank you so much. That was great. Thanks. Thank you. How was it? Good? Fast, fast. Oh, going to the front of the camera. Right then, welcome back everyone to the World Corporate Champions Cup. Match day one, game two, Nigeria versus Ireland. There's the Battle of the Greens, Nigeria and their iconic the green and white Ireland oh. <laughs> in okay. a different mode so today, go orange and white, fist bumps all around, should be a competitive game. We've already seen PMU from Mali and VTOL from Switzerland playing a brilliant game. 4-2 it finished in the end. Both teams lining up, the referees instructing, it's the keeper who is the captain for Nigeria. Number eight for Ireland. And if it's anything like the first game, we're in for an absolute belter here at the La Liga Academy in Dubai. Nigeria having a word. Number six is their captain, in fact. And back in the com box with me is young Siraj. How are you doing? Absolutely, been top class action, end to end stuff. Of course it is futsal, so five on five football. It's very fast paced, very energetic. 15 minute halves on both sides. And the Nigerian side, the strong contenders for the title. Will be interesting to see how they begin their tournament. Right then, the game has kicked off. It's the Irish from left to right of your screen, building the ball up. It's the Galacticos versus Synergy from Ireland. Galacticos from Nigeria. And trying that early ball down the left flank, but just beyond the wing forward here. And the captain of Nigeria, captain of the Galacticos, 
tries to build the ball up from the back. Good interlinking here, good passing here, opening up for a shot perhaps. But they've been very patient with their build up so far. Lose the bottle in the middle of the pitch. Could have been very close. Given away, chance for a strike and goal. Taking it and 1 0. What a start for Synergy. Taking the early lead. Crucial error at the back there from the Galacticos and they've paid the ultimate price. But it's early days just yet. A long way to go. This time the Nigerians building on the left flank but good defense there. Good tracking back by the striker. Tr playing a risky ball at the back there but they've just about hung on now building down the right flank. Number 11. Off his feet, one on one, and just past the post. Can you believe it? Playing a risky ball at the back there, but they've just about hung on, now building down the right flank. Number 11, off his feet, one on one, and just past the post. Once again, losing the ball, shot on goal, but it's been deflected past the keeper for a corner. Once again, losing the ball, shot on goal, but it's been, they've already had to pay with one goal. Very easily could have conceded a second. Tried to play the corner too early there, so the ref has called it back. Number eight with that eye-catching headband there. Trying to stick across in, but they've messed it. Number eight with that eye-catching headband there. Good pressing there from Ireland, winning the ball early up the pitch. Synergy from Ireland in control of the contest so far. They've looked very tactically astute, working the ball around very nicely. Losing the ball in their own half has a speculative, speculative shot at goal, but going very nicely. Losing the ball in their own half has a speculative, speculative shot. This time trying to work the ball away quickly, but there's nobody there to receive it. Nigeria will get time to get on the ball, losing it once again. Rounding the keeper and just about deflected away. That should have been 2-0. Nigeria will get time to get on the ball, losing it once again. Rounding the keeper and just... Nigeria being hustled here. Out hustled here, in fact, by Ireland. The ref has called it back. Says take that goal kick once again. They're struggling to get the ball out of their own half. Once again, putting a lot of pressure. Pressing high up the field. And with that, once again, putting a lot of pressure. Pressing. can turn into attack and vice versa so quickly <laughs> trying to build up from the back here Nigeria once again down the right flank nice dribbling there but he's given the ball away number 10 for Ireland on the ball and that errant pass could have been an opening but just not fine he's given the ball away number 10 for Ireland on the ball 
And that errant pass could have been an open. Nigeria with a shot on goal, but the keeper tips it over for a corner. Oh, tried to side put that into the bag to some trickery there, but didn't pay off. Once again, taking a lot of risks in their own half. Number eight for Synergy has been absolutely brilliant. This time Nigeria with a chance to break. Oh, left footed strike, but into the side netting. This time Nigeria with a chance to break. Oh, left footed strike. And the release from, from the Irish, Irish men. Of course, this ev event is brought to you live on YouTube. Our streaming partner is Sports Eye. So do get on YouTube forward slash Sports Eye and watch all the live action as Ireland are looking to build from the back. They've looked in control. A well drilled, well coached outfit. Working the ball around very nicely, making the Nigerians chase them and tiring them out. Number 10 for Nigeria does well there, wins the ball back. But once again, it's the Irish with the break, keeps it in. Laid back, works it around, oh, and just behind the striker. Still has a shot at goal, but it's gone over. Laid back, works it around, oh, and just behind the striker. Still has a shot at goal, but it's gone over. Long shot, speculative strike, and it's headed, gone in. Can you believe it? A howler from the Irish keeper, 1-1. One, one. Short speculative strike, and it's headed, gone in. Can you believe it? Lucky goal there, but... They've made a chance for a oh, brilliant tackle. That is sensational from number 19. Getting his foot in there just in time, otherwise it was going to be 2-1. Yeah, they, they, they needed to react quickly. Yeah, the number 19 did just that. And a nice tackle. Nigeria on the ball, has a strike at goal, but this time... The Irish keeper is solidly behind it. Working the ball around here, trying to look for openings here. Towards the center, number 10 works it to the right wing. Goes for a left footed strike at goal, but solidly blocked once again. So this game is right on a knife edge right now, Siraj. Of course, it is the Galacticos from Nigeria taking on Synergy from Ireland. Has a speculative shot there, but the Nigerian defense is quite stout. Big guys there with a lot of underrated Agility as Ireland look to build from the back, just passing the ball around, looking for openings, looking for gaps. Trying a bit something extra there, the number 19 for Nigeria. Doing that Cristiano chop didn't quite work there. So it loses possession. Possession is nine tenths of the law there. I do enjoy the way the Irish are just working the ball around, taking their time. This time an opening and there it is. Ireland take the lead, tucked away in style. Two one. I do enjoy the way the Irish are just working the ball around, taking their time. 
This time an opening and there it is. Ireland take the lead. A superb finish there, just tucked beyond the keeper. One on one, he had no chance. Brilliantly worked goal, and now Nigeria, who we were fancying as one of the favorites for the title itself, are on the back foot. We're almost at the halfway stage of the game. They need to get a move on. Long shot at goal, that was from miles away. S whistled away past the keeper. And if that had hit the net, it would have burst through there, Siraj. Yeah, the, yeah, the Irish goalkeeper got lucky there. Uh, he could have tracked tight, though, before going to Arthur Spice. <laughs> Brilliant stuff there. Just about three minutes left in the half here for the Galacticos to equalize. Trying a 1-2 there from beyond his own back line. Works it away to the left flank once again. He, they found a lot of room there. Low cross, but there's nobody there for the Irish. That would have been 3-1 for sure. And Nigeria get a chance to rebuild. Yeah, now Irish, uh, Ireland, and they're trying their best to just to really knock at the door of the door, but uh, Nigeria is so strong, um, but uh, they got themselves a goal, but can they use that you know, pressure that they're built, mounting up, up to good effect? They've used their keeper really well to retain possession. That's been the key for the Irish. Low cross this time, an opening once again. One on one, but straight at the keeper. Can you believe it? And the keeper is going solo. Down into the half. Oh, he squared it and he's fluffed it. That should have been the equalizer. Down into the half. Oh, he squared it and he's fluffed it. That should have been the equalizer. Incredible first half we've had here between Galacticos and Synergy. What a game, my goodness. Contrasting styles, low shot, nicely blocked there by the Nigerians. Some fancy footwork there and he retains possession. Brilliant stuff. And now they break down the right flank. One on one. Good fancy footwork there. Gets the ball across just about. Number eight on the ball has a low shot but it's been cut out. This is turning into a wall. Gets the ball across just about. Number eight on the ball has a low shot, but it's been cut out. Shot straight at the goal and nicely collected there. Once again, the Irish look to build from the back. Taking their time. Measured passes. They wait for the players to find space. Very contrasting style to PMU from Mali that we saw in the earlier game. It's very measured, very tactical, well-drilled unit. No loose passes. Beautiful build-up once again and just couldn't get his head to it. Otherwise, no loose passes. Beautiful build-up once again and just could not get enough of his head. Rolling substitutes allowed in futsal, of course, and the Irish are making a quick change. It's very important to keep your energy levels. It's 30 minutes of non-stop breakneck speed action. Nigeria trying to create something one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to work it away towards the left flank, but it's going to Nigeria. Trying to create something one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to work it away towards. Tennis, I saw that was, was. You could see in, in there might be stubborn faces at the Nigerian bench. Not been forthcoming this time. Trying to spin away from the center back, but he loses possession. So need to revisit the drawing board. And that will be half time here between Nigeria and Ireland. It's going to be a very short break. We'll be right back for the second half.
Which is the strong team in this one? Right then, welcome back everyone to Field Day at the La Liga Academy in Dubai. We are here for the FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup. Second half of the game between Galacticos of Nigeria and Synergy Recruitment from Ireland. Synergy have the lead, 2-1, and they've really deserved it here, Suraj. What do you think? Nigeria to kick off then. One goal behind, 15 minutes remaining for them to equalize and perhaps even win the game. This time the Irish break, one on one, and he's missed it. Can you believe it? That should have, they should have put the game to bed, but it should have been over. But that was a, was a heavy step opportunity. Two versus one, the Nigerian keeper was gone by all means, but just fizzed his shot past the left upright. Incredible opportunity wasted there. And can the Nigerians make the Irish pay? That is the ultimate question. Nicely worked here down the right flank. Straight at the keeper, brilliant save. Very, very close there to the equalizer. Brilliantly worked move down the right flank. And now the Irish are just hanging on to the ball, killing the Nigerian momentum. Nigeria on the ball once again, trying to build an attack here, but you can see the man marking from the Irish defenders has been s superb. Clearing the ball from his own half. And we saw that one opportunity created there by the Nigerian keeper. Brilliant sprint he did down the ground. And this time, bit of a rough tackle there. The Irish defender goes flying, number eight, and the referee has given them the call. Yeah, 
Throw ball through the middle. They've just about hung on, but no, the Nigerians have won it back. And gets that big boot down there. That could have been very close. It's given as a corner, I believe. Yes, they have. Nigeria trying to get on with the game. They're desperately looking for that equalizer. But the Irish defense has been stout. Brilliant sliding tackle there. Yeah, not nice, nice defending by Irish. By Ireland. Nigeria cut, uh, tries to cut through Ireland's defense. Slice. One on one, trying to create an opening, deflected. He had the keeper wrong footed there, but they got the ball away just in time. So Nigeria building ahead of steam here. They're getting some looks. Let's see if they can get one into the back of the net. This man has been the best player, number 10. Working the ball along, he's very good at keeping the ball. Trying to bring his partners into the game. He's taken a bit of a smack to the face. Shot and tipped over the bar by the Irish keeper. Corner. Eleven minutes remaining in the game then. Trying that high cross. But the Irish defenders, they're big lads, big units. It's going to be a kick in from the left flank. Center to the middle. The keeper has come out once again to join the attack. And a foul has been given. Good call there by the ref. That was a dangerous opportunity for Team Nigeria. Yeah, and that, yeah the goalkeeper telling his inner Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer. Uh, it, looked, it looked as though it would, they would be two off. Oh, but that foul. Losing the momentum just at the wrong time, of course. You can stream these games live at Kura, at Sports Eye on YouTube. This time, another foul. This game is getting a bit nasty here, Siraj. Yeah, every, every player saying that it is dead, you're a, a foul time from on one end to the other. Uh, can they stop this 13 seconds? Very high stakes here. The Corporate World Champions Cup here brought to you by FIFCO. Everyone battling for national honors, for national pride. Leaving it all out there on the pitch. Once again, cutting in on his right and flashed past the keeper. Once again, cutting in on his right and flashed work by the Irish number 10. He's not just expected to score goals, he's expected to defend as well. And they're being backed into a corner. Good work here by the Nigerians. Just under 10 minutes remaining in this match day one, game two. Synergy of Ireland leading by one goal. This game has been very tight indeed, a tactical battle. Creating some pressure once again, that press from the Nigerians, good work, chance. Opportunity, a foul by the keeper. Creating some pressure once again, that press from the Nigerians, good work. Chance, opportunity. A clear foul, a clear, clear foul by Nigeria. Indeed, the angle not quite in favor of the striker. This time, spinning away from the Nigerian center forward. The counter is on, number eight on the ball. Brilliant step over. Low cross, and he's tucked it in. It's 3-1 for the Irish. 
Goal given. Counter is on number eight on the ball. Brilliant step over. Low cross. And he's tucked it in. It's three. The Nigerian keeper having words with the linesman there and rightly booked. Tempers are flaring here at the La Liga Academy in Dubai. And like we mentioned, the stakes are very high. National honor is at stake. And national solidarity as well. Uh, you, want, you want to be famous, but the, but the fame comes at a cost. Seven and a half minutes remaining here. The Nigerians are only wasting their own time arguing out there with the officials. Get on with the game. You need two goals to equalize. You need three to win it. This time working it. Scuffed shot across the goal. That's never going to trouble the Irish at all, is it? Under seven minutes to go then. A two-goal cushion for the Irish. They have looked a very, very well-drilled outfit. Very impressive. They've got an opening down the left flank once again, but it dribbles away for a kick in. A very, very well-drilled outfit. Very impressive. They've got an opening down the left flank once again, but it dribbles. Just worked the Nigerians around. Waited for their men to get open. And they haven't really physically stressed themselves out. Number eight, another shot at goal. That step over of his, that's his trademark move. Yeah, it, it, look, it looked a second goal of the season by that number eight. It's a long head and a really good game so far. Run and assist. This, this step over is, is a trademark of his. Nigeria building up from the back then. Trying to find some openings. Trying to find those precious two goals. Once again given away and you can hear the screams of frustration from the Nigerian bench. They feel that this game is slipping away. Ireland have been ice cool even in the steamy afternoon of Dubai. A header this time, that's something rare. But immediately cleared away. And there's some Joga Bonito from the Irish there. Brilliant. Squared away, and there it is, 4-1. Now they're in control of the game. It's going to be victory. Brazilian flair uh, from the Irishman. Squared away, and there it is, 4-1. Now they're in control of the game. By the assist maker, uh, and goal scorer of Ireland gets on the act, number seven. 4-1 the lead, then Nigeria have been well and truly outclassed. They've been bossed in this game, trying to work it in. Shot! And that's a skyer. That's going to land outside the... They've been bossed in this game, trying to work it in. Shot! And that's a skyer. That's going <laughs> Once again, an opening, and he scuffed it wide, so they're just taking pot once again, an opening, and he scuffed it wide to improve that goal difference, if nothing else. You shouldn't take chances where chances if you're, you're on the back foot. Four minutes to go in this game. It's been a comprehensive display by Synergy from Ireland. Opening here for the Nigerians, but there's nobody on the end of that cross.